Happy Tania Tuesday. Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to start on my comical grasshopper and I have all the parts laid out so I'm going to go ahead and get everything opened up and get it all sorted out. Alright, so I got all the parts opened up and I also opened up parts bag A and have everything laid out onto my magnetic little strip here. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the directions which basically has me putting together the rear arms. So there's a couple things that you have to decide on here. So the back little kind of ball here is going to go into the rear arm. Now, using the setup guide that actually comes with the Tamiya kit, if you put the ball on the innermost, it's going to be a higher stance. If you put the ball on the outer, it'll be a lower stance. So in the middle is kind of, of course, in the middle. I think I might go ahead and do the middle. I don't want it too high, I don't want it too low, so I might just go ahead and split the difference. All right, so I got both arms together. Real simple. Put the little ball in the center, so it'll kind of give me an in-between between low and high. And I'm ready to go ahead and install these onto the pre-assembled transmission. So to me, I provided a pre-assembled transmission. You can actually see there are plastic bushings in there. There isn't ball bearings, but you know what? Not too worried about it. Everything's together. I went through and made sure all the screws were tight. Here is the 540 motor that's installed, Marabuchi motor. Now all I have to do is assemble the rear arms onto the pre-built transmission. The lower arms are installed, just a couple long pins. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install some of these ball connectors. And they'll just kinda screw in up top here. And I also have some arms that I have to find on the parts tree and get those installed as well. And step two is complete. Got the arms on, just a couple screws. Got the ball connectors on and the rear lower arms. Moving on to step three. Alright, so step three just has you put these little rubber washers into the actual drive cup. And they call it a gearbox joint, and it just fits in there. I use the little dog bone to help push that down in place. Also, you're going to assemble the wheelie bar. Real simple, I just did it real fast. The bar goes in between the wheel, two sides, two halves come together screw it all in place and the wheelie bar is done. Now this is going to be installed into the transmission assembly and it's just going to go into the back. You're going to use some long screws with these spacers and it'll all come together. Step four has you put together the wheel axles. Now they supply you with plastic bushings. I'm gonna go ahead and use bearings. So just slide the bearing onto the wheel axle. Also with these wheel axles, the rubber O-ring, you have to make sure you put the rubber O-ring in there, just like you did before. If you don't put the O-ring in, your dog bones are gonna pop out. This is all gonna to come together, just like this. Pushing the bearing into place and everything's gonna fit right on the end of your assembly. Long pin screw is gonna go at the bottom. And before I put in my top screw, I'm gonna wanna put the dog bone in, slide it into the carrier, slide it in up here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my screw on. All right, so the one side's done. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side done. And here is a completed step four. Definitely do not wanna over tight anything because you want everything to move nice and free. All right guys, so that's about it for bag A. Parts bag A is complete. The next steps have me going into part B, but that is all the time I have for today. So if you like what you saw, please click that like button. If you have any questions about what I did, please post them below and I'll be sure to answer you. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. I'll see everybody soon.